Salute on Buzz TV. I'm your host, Mike White, and on 5-Minute Salute, we are saluting the veterans who have served us. Join us today, we have Eric Sachs from Operation Lifeline. Welcome to the program. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, May. So uh, you served uh, Air Force how many years? I did about 26 years. I did a the little short bit. stint? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I went in, uh, enlisted right out of high school here in Florida. Planned to do four years. 26 years later, I'm, I'm out. It's funny, I came in with uh, just a day after high school. Went in, came out uh, with a lifetime, incredible experiences. Uh, two master's degrees, all of this, and they paid for everything. So fantastic opportunity and just excited to be able to give back now. So once you decided to, mm -hmm. to retire and transition out, how was the transition for you? So the transition was, was interesting. It was challenging, uh, more challenging than I thought it would be because I realized after the fact, I went in when I was 17, came out in my you know, mid to late 40s, there's, there's a big difference in civilian culture versus military culture. I mean, one of the biggest ones I saw, and one of the reasons I kind of went into this direction was that, I hate to say it, but comparison to military culture versus civilian culture, Military has a feel that it's just, it's always about the greater good, that we'll make sacrifice to help others. And when I started kind of feeling out civilian culture, it was one of those, we really focus about the people inside our four walls and the outside's nice. And it just, it didn't sit well with me. So I wanted to get involved, direct involvement is just what I've done my whole life. So I was excited to do something like this. So you started an organization, yeah. Operation Lifeline. Uh, tell me about who you serve and how you serve them. Absolutely. So our primary focus is low-income veterans in Northeast Florida. Uh, and our focus is really on their housing programs. So we started, our very first program we started with a, was a rehab program where we're doing rehabilitation of the houses that veterans own, but they still fall into that low-income category and they haven't been doing the required maintenance. Some of the biggest things we're seeing is Bad roofs, leaky roofs, uh, electrical working, not, not, or sorry, electrical not working, plumbing, uh, some bathrooms they just cut off from the house and they'll all use one bathroom because they can't afford to get it fixed. So we've been coming in and uh, under the grant that we use in St. John's County specifically, we can spend up to $40,000 to help get that to a more, a safer, uh, healthier environment for them. How are for-profit businesses helping you assist the community you're helping? Yeah, so we've got a great relationship. We're a member of NEFBA, the Northeast Florida um, Builders, Associ Builders Association. Yeah, exactly. They are absolutely fantastic. So we work through their nonprofit, Builders, Builders Care, Care, and we work closely with the, uh, the people who are in that organization, and they've been fantastic, uh, particularly as we start preparing for our next, our, our big community that we're gonna be building. We've been working with engineers, survey companies, other things like that who are willing to, to help us out quite a bit. And then, uh, and also specifically on the payment terms, right? Because nobody's gonna be able to do this for free, but if they're doing it at a lower cost, at least give us some flexibility because a lot of the money that we use through these grants and other programs is done on a reimbursement basis. So not having a ton of capital makes it difficult, but when you have great partners out there, like the, the folks at NEFBA, it's been fantastic. What's been the hardest part in starting a company? You're oh not pro you're not for profit, but you are a business. Yeah. So some of the things that I found were interesting. I never consider this again. My whole life was working uh, for the military. So uh, simple thing, you can't get a loan when you're a nonprofit. You, you just it's not the same as starting a for profit. They, there's a lot more risk. Um, so it's been it's been challenging. As I mentioned, a lot of our programs are done through reimbursement. So it's great. They're going to give us forty thousand dollars to do to fix this house, but we need to come with the money up front then we can do the reimbursement. So uh, work, finding companies that would work with, with us on that, finding some, uh, some capital to help us with that, the reimbursement aspects, that's been, that's been a challenge. And then the other big one is just finding enough time. Um, there's so much to do, there's so many people to help, and we run into that, uh, in the military we call it mission creep, where you, you see something that's great, I wanna take that on. Okay, I wanna take this on too. Next thing you know, you've got way too many functional areas and you kind of water down what you really wanted to help. So we're, my board is really struggling to keep me in that box of where we're gonna be able to do the most uh, bang for our buck. So most bang for your buck, finish sentence. In five years, Operation Lifeline will blank. Oh, the, the biggest one I'm excited about is expanding affordable housing for veterans. That, that's what we've got to do. Uh, right now, this area, and I mean, it's really nationwide, this shortage of housing, specifically affordable housing. And in some of our local counties, it's quite difficult to get affordable housing. For example, uh, St. John's County, for one, 
$35,000 just to break ground on a, on a house. It makes it very difficult to, to make that house affordable. So we're, we're, uh, we're hoping to work through the programs that we've got to make sure that there is an affordable option for the people who've worked to defend this country. Well, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for your service and uh, best of luck with the organization. Yes, sir, I appreciate it. To find out more about Operation Lifeline and how you can support them, visit us at iwantabuzz.com. Thank you for visiting us. We'll see you next time on 5 Minute Salute. <laughs>